My creativity comes from finding the art and placing it in my home environment. I couldn't draw a crooked line, so forget a straight one. The only criteria for me in selecting art is if I like it. And I like lots of different things. People will ask me if I collect a certain period, a certain style, a certain aesthetic. No. Some are, some are oh wows and some are just because I think they're really neat. I came around a corner and walked into this piece and I went, oh wow. I, it just blew my mind when I first saw this. This is fun. Quite an interesting piece, actually. That's another whopper. I just think it's fabulous. I, t I just thought it was really kind of cool. It, it just has to appeal to, to my senses, I guess. This is Carl Andre, and you can walk on it. Everyone is afraid to walk on it because it's an art piece, but that's his intention. I really love the simplicity of it. It's just neat and organized, and I'm misefficient and organized, so that appeals to me. But then we look at Mark Bradford's soccer balls from 2004. Um, are they neat and organized? No. So I am a contradiction with my art collecting. What he's done here is out of the norm for his work. Essentially he paints and I think that's why this appealed to me because it was out of his mainstream. Behind me is a piece by Ed Moses. Ed Moses is in his 80s. Every time Ed comes out with a body of work, it's totally different. I have a number of pieces of Ed just because I love the idea that he's always doing something different. This is Russell Crotty. This is all done by hand with a ballpoint pen. And if I had to make my living doing something like that, I would be starving to death because I wouldn't begin to have <laughs> the patience to do it. I adore Peter Shelton. Why? First of all, he's, he's a, a nice, wonderful human being, but second of all, he's got a little bit of crazy in him. These are called cannon bottles with lowercase letters. And behind you is a metal bucket. This is also Peter Shelton. And it just skims at floor level. But also, what, what person with any sense of sanity would put a, an entire hole through their roof to hang it? Because I had to put a big metal plate on the outside roof to support it. It's heavy. It's, it's huge. It's, these are just pieces of paper cut in different sizes and shapes and glued together on a string. The creativity involved and then the end result, I just think it's gorgeous. This is Richard Deacon. I just find what he does a, a thrilling because he bends wood in impossible forms. And, and things like that are so much fun to see the creativity of an artist to take a piece of wood that is rigid and straight and bend it like a contortionist into these marvelous shapes. Artist naming of pieces would probably be helpful to the viewer because then they get an idea of what the artist had in mind when he was creating the piece. But lots of artists don't want to name their pieces because they don't want you to assume what their concept was or their idea was. They want you to look at their art and, and be involved in it in your way, not their way. So lots of work is untitled. 
important, of course, always in the uh, title of the piece is the year that it was done. It's sort of an identification mark, if you will. This piece is called Mark E. Smith as Pope Innocent X. And what Glenn Brown does is take original paintings like this looks like a bacon. He will take someone's work and then he paints over it and, and makes it his interpretation of their work. It's really ugly. <laughs> so I didn't buy it because I thought it was beautiful. I bought it because Kiki Smith created something that was just amazing to me. All these heads of animals, they all have teeth and all the teeth are gold. So I'm not buying things because I think they're beautiful or pretty. This painting, I just really like. It's very strong and it's very bold. And the blue on this is unlike a blue I've ever seen before. Look at it. Everything is just kind of as you see it. I have quite a number of John McCracken's pieces because first of all, I have been involved in a business world for many, many years, done a huge amount of traveling, and one travels in black or gray. So when I get to my other life, I love color. It's yellow, yellow is my favorite color, but with gray hair, yellow is out on my body, but I can certainly have it on the uh, walls of my gallery. She's, I mean, magnificent use of paint. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at the color, look at the placement on the canvas. It's just fabulous. Look at those colors. I mean, that's just fabulous. And they're every which way. But look at how, that it, it can look so accidental, but it's so deliberate. And, and, and look at uh, Joel Shapiro. I mean, and he's dancing, he's so, happy and he makes me happy <laughs> to look at him. I mean, can't you see that? What is it? I don't know what it is. It's Peter and his quirky personalities. 